Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Tornado Survival, Season 7, Episode 23. And in the last episode, we checked out some of the new mods that I added to this world. And I want to go over some of the off-camera work that I've done, and I also have a different idea for this episode that I'd like to do. So, let me switch these picks. So the first thing I did was I added signs to each of the corridors here so we can see what farms are what. But down this hallway, you know, we've got the sugarcane farm, the pumpkin farm, but now I added <laughs> the Felium station. Now, it's a bit more whack than the one in Season 5 because that's because I have double of these. So both of these are for Ender Pearls and both of these are for Blaze Rods. And this is the mixer, and then, yeah. I have crafted, uh, whoops, two jerry cans, and both of them are full. And a little wrench here just to jing my john. And there's a category zero off in the distance, kind of heading towards, uh, kind of towards probably where the house is. So we'll go check on that. Um, so that's pretty much all the off camera work I've done. It's been like an hour since I've recorded the last episode. Um, maybe a little more, a little less, I don't know. I've also done a little bit of cleanup. I've traded with the villagers, and speaking of trading with the villagers, that's going to be what we do real quick. And, yeah, I did some caving to get some coal. But that's pretty much all I did. Um, so, in the last episode, I mentioned that I wanted to build a pull-in port and try to craft some of the vehicles today. But I've actually decided against that idea for this episode. I do have a compass in here. Um, I'd actually like to go and discover a woodland mansion. Um, I've had pretty bad luck with woodland mansions. Just go look at season 5, episode 30. I was trying to get some totems, because that's kind of like the real point of them in this version. And, um, yeah, I got zero totems, and... I did come back with a decent amount of books, which I did use for trading, so that is what I want to go and get, is hopefully some totems and more books for trading, along with uh, any of the other uh, possible loot in there, because there could be notch apples, and that's something that I want to have a little stock of in this world. Um, man, it's a mess out here. But uh, I cleaned up out here a little bit, and did some harvesting of the farms, as you can see, and... I did not clean any of that up, but to be honest, I don't think I'm ever going to bother cleaning that mess up because, you know, who cares, really. So I have a couple cartographers down here. Uh, this is a librarian. Um, yeah, this village is a bit of a mess. Another librarian. I can never find them, but when I want a cartographer, I can't find them. It's probably going to be over here. Yeah. So, Woodland Explorer map, that's going to cost 24 emeralds. Thank you, good sir. And then I might also buy one of these in the future. Alright, so we are quite far from what I can see. <laughs> we're going to put this in the offhand and we're going to face north. Oh, hello. Let's make sure that this isn't about to hit the village. We should be good. So we're gonna sleep real quick. Yeah, it's absolute bogus because uh, I do more daytime sleeping than I do nighttime sleeping game, trust me. So let's just uh, wait for this, I guess, as that hurricane passes by. I'm not concerned about it because by the time it got to the house, it'd be lifted. But, so yeah, it's face north. We need to go southeast. At least I think. <laughs> Maybe? Hold on. So we're southeast of... Maybe we have to go this way. I'm not 100% sure on these maps. Um, all I know is you gotta face north. So I think, I think we're going the right way. I don't know. We're about to find out. So I've already explored quite a good chunk of this world. So there's nothing really out here that's worth looking at so if i come across anything because i'm just going to try to get there and hurry this up if i find anything interesting along the way i will cut in and show you but if not we will be at the woodland mansion so i've stumbled upon a village i'm getting a little bit of lag that's to be expected we're quite far out 
and there's a blacksmith here. So I figured we'll go ahead and check it out, see if we can get some diamonds or something. Uh, I actually do want obsidian because uh, I do want to build a portal there. So I will collect the obsidian. But we will see what else this village has. It's looking kind of like a small village. So I don't think there's going to be anything here of interest. So I think I'm going to just get back to flying and I'll cut in if I find anything else. The dot has started to move, so that means we're, we've gone far enough north. So now we have to go west. So we're just going to get in line with the mansion there, and we're going to start going west. Alright, so I'll continue west. The dot has now grown a significant size, so that's interesting. I have discovered a dark oak biome now, so I'm, yeah, we're getting close. It's starting to load in on the... Uh, the map and of course we're getting a little bit of the stupid lag gotta love it <laughs> so we're just about there just waiting for this crappy game to load <laughs> hello <sighs> see this is the pain of having a slow computer and also trying to load in so many chunks but hey we're here Let's just wait for the rest of it to load take that out of our uh, second hand now and it looks like we're right at the entrance so I'm gonna go ahead and put the chest plate on and we're just gonna dive in uh, let's see. there are some spiders in here and we're lagging which is not really helpful yeah my point exactly not really helpful <laughs> so that's uh trying to enter in here quietly but I guess that's uh, not gonna happen I want to check out each room and a lot of them have chests and a lot of them don't there's gonna be a lot of vindicators in here see this this lag is actually kinda pissing me off a little bit and you can stop that I think one thing that'll help with the lag is picking up all these seeds that might help just a little bit. Uh, sorry about the lag. I'm literally hitting shift. There we go. It's 32 entities picked up, so hopefully that helps. Just kill all these mobs in here. I don't know why there's so many spiders and skeletons. Can't even see them. So yeah, I know it's gonna be dark. I think that's just going to make things laggier, but let's go in here. Here's a big pillager, or indicator, I don't think uh, they were called pillagers at this point. And then there's another one. I don't think there's anything inside of these. Just, yeah, just, just wool. So, let's kill you. Why is it so laggy? Just quit. <laughs> and end up dying because of the lag. And if I die because of lag, I'm cheating and teleporting back here. Because that wouldn't be fair. I've died to lag before in a, another series. So that didn't really help. I don't think there's going to be anything in these other than cauldrons. Yeah. This isn't like newer Minecraft and there's a laze inside. Again, another cell. Uh, we'll just break in through the wall here. Oh, we were already in here. Let's go through here. This goes up to the second story, so we'll hold off on that for a minute. Check the whole first floor down here. It's been kind of a disappointment. So, I'm going to check. Oh, there's a creeper right there. Hello. Yeah. I know there's secret passageways in the walls. Um, if we come across them, then we'll check them out. There are a lot of mobs in here. Dude, this lag. My god. It's, it's like I'm playing on an Eterno server for some reason. 
I don't know why it's so damn laggy. It's like a lot of light in here for some reason. It's kind of strange. Thing in here. Like, man, this lag. <laughs> Uh, another one of these rooms. It kind of just connected. So down here is kind of goo goo. So we're gonna go upstairs now. Uh, it's already in here. What is this? Oh, hello. Uh, I think there's a chest. Yeah. Hell yes! A golden apple. An enchanted one at that. Alright, that's. One thing I came here for. I like coming here just for those. But uh, hopefully we can get some totems. Because um, in season 5 I didn't get any. So let's just kind of remain hopeful and pray that I get some totems from here. As soon as I get one, if I do, I'm going to equip it because of this lag. I'm probably going to die. As you can see... Like I said, if I die and I, like actually die to this lag, I'm teleporting back. So I'm not flying or walking all the way back because I don't have a spare elytra, I don't think. Actually, I might, but I don't have the rockets to get back. So whenever you see me like move really weird in this game, that's a lag-related issue. And it's something to do with my computer because it happens all the time. We got a regular golden apple now. So we're just gonna place all these blocks because I don't want them. I didn't know we were coming to see some WWE. There's another one in here. Let's go up and see what's in this chest. Creep there's quite a few creepers in here. One shot. Oh, I'll take that lead. Um, I don't need the rest of that. Yep, sneeze. <laughs> oh, God. Another one of these rooms. There's a witch up here. Uh, what's in here? Another enchanted golden apple. Wow. <laughs> That's insane. SB would be proud. <laughs> Alright. See if we can find another one of these rooms that has a enchanted golden apple inside of it. I also want to grab all of these bookshelves. Uh, because these will go towards trading. And you get a lot of emeralds out of books. It's uh, If you can get a villager that trades 8 books for an emerald, that's uh, 8 emeralds for a stack of books. And that's... Uh, that adds up quickly. I know it doesn't sound like a lot, but it adds up quickly when you have a lot of books. So that's why I gather all of these when I'm in these. And should have brought my shulker boxes with me. But uh, I'm going to put a few things away. Alright. It was a little, little dark in here, so do the world a favor and light it up so you guys can see but uh... we're just gonna mine all these books and uh... if you guys remember i got not really that many books out of the stronghold because the stronghold in this world was an absolute joke so this kinda makes up for it i guess and uh... possibly later in the season i'm gonna probably come back to one of these like look for another one so I'll get more books. Hopefully. <laughs> but, uh, there's a decent amount of books and there's this is the last player here but there's probably going to be another one of these rooms. So if you guys are ever in one of these grab the books because they're really good for trading. Um, I might also grab the chests if I find that chest room. Because I seem to craft chests a little too often. 
there we go. That's pretty much every book mined. Yep, there we go. So let's place this back down and see how many books we got. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. A little over eight stacks of books right there. So that's a decent amount of emeralds that I'll get. Let's go this way. Or we're already this way. Now it doesn't hurt to double check, you know. Kind of get lost in these places. Yeah, I was already in here. Alright, ow. So we were in there, let's go... Here's some more books. There's gonna be these small rooms with the books, too. You, you, you guys already know, but... Uh, I think this is like the second Woodland Mansion I've explored in this series. So... Yeah, there we go. And that goes upstairs. Is there a chest around? No. Well... We'll save that, I'll just put a temporary waypoint there so that we can come back. We're gonna circle around now, or I guess square around, because this place is a huge square. Uh, nothing in here. Nothing in here either. Alright, hello. Three of these stupid things. I haven't found a evoker yet, so I'm getting a little concerned. We're probably not going to get any from this mansion either. Knowing my luck. Hopefully we find some upstairs, because I really do want some totems. They're good for the advancement too, because I want to try to get every advancement in this world. It'd be nice. That's, that's one goal I have. I don't know if I'll be able to do it, because you son of a... So it involves me... Oh, God. It involves me getting a uh, Elder Guardian and Shulker, so... I'm already in here, too. Interesting. <laughs> so I could have just risked my life in here for nothing. Right, let's get the hell out of here. This guy's got full iron. And he dropped his chest plate. So grateful. Alright, I think we've uh, looted this whole floor. So I think we're gonna go up to the third story now and see what we can find. Hopefully we find some uh, freaking evokers up there because we really do need some totems. This might be the second uh, mansion in a row where I get screwed. But hey, I got two notch apples out of this so far. I might find a third up here. So, oh, hello. So, safe to say we're going to get some totems. It scared the hell out of me. Right, give me that. Stupid vexes. Scared the hell out of me. <laughs> Alright, let's just, let's just play it safe. Oh, hello. Stop with the lag. I want that to count towards the mobs I've killed. Alright, who's in here? Is that really it for this third story? I guess that's it. So we got one totem out of this place. I think we can break through here, can't we? Yeah. Well, secret room, is there anything in here? No. It's just the useless room. <laughs> Alright, well, I guess that's all we're getting. This top story's a joke. So let's go down. I guess that's it for this place. I'll just double check all these WWE rooms and see if there's a. Uh, Thing for me to snag, but I think uh, we've already been in every one of these. We haven't been in this one. So I guess there are still a few of these to check.
I've been in here. I've been in the one over here, though. So just double checking. Yeah, I remember that chest. Right, I guess that's uh, I guess that's it for this place. I'll check this one in the center. I guess by this massive gaping hole here, yeah. <laughs> Right, I guess we're gonna get out of here. This was a bit of a disappointment, to be honest. I was hoping to get more than one totem, but hey, we did get, uh, they're in the under chest, but we got two notch apples from here, so. I guess at the end of the day, I should be grateful for what I got. Now, the flight home is gonna be a bit of a nightmare, but hey, at least uh, we looted one in this episode, I guess. So we're just double checking. Now, try to find the staircase. Yeah. There's been a bunch of mobs in here, my god. Alright, yeah, we're gonna get out of here now. Is this a dark oak tree? Yeah. Alright, yeah. Alright, let's find the stairs and get out of here. Well, I guess in the end it's a success. Uh, like I said, still a little bit down that I didn't get more than one totem, but, you know, it is what it is. Do yeah, have plenty of gunpowder in here if I need it. It'd get a good amount of books though. So, yeah. Alright, let's get out of here, I guess. The flight home is gonna be a bit of a misery, so I'm just gonna fly to zero zero, because that's usually towards home. So I'll cut out once I'm back at the house. Alright, so I've made it back to the underground base. And I figured just before I end off the episode, we're going to try to sort out some of this stuff and do some trading. Um, I want to go ahead and craft the Emerald Armor from the Paracord mod. Um, since in a future episode, I want to build an armory. And I just want to go ahead and have that crafted. Uh, I'm just going to clear out my inventory really fast because it's a mess. We also have a bunch of music discs. <laughs> so I got to make a music disc chest, which I think I'm just gonna put right here. So, boom. Let's just grab all these out and just transfer them into here. And I think I have a couple in here. Yeah, two of these. And a lot of cat discs, which I'll use one for the frame. And we'll sort out 13. And we got mellow high, mellow heat, whatever. And a bunch of carpet. Not really a bunch, but three. And some glowstone from the witch. Obsidian. A bunch of books that I'm going to end up trading. I'll hold on to the map. I'll put it in a frame. Because it was kind of cool. So we're just going to quickly put these books away. And we now have five notch apples and ten regular golden apples, not really that important. 43 emeralds, which will go ahead and craft the emerald armor. Boom. Sort this accordingly. And we're also going to make the tools, which uh, sticks in here somewhere. So, pick. Axe, shovel, sword, hoe. Boom. Alright, that's all crafted. And we're just going to store it in... Uh, let's see, where can I store it? I'll put it in here with the paracord. This, uh... <laughs> This isn't really that organized either, so we'll go ahead and 
try to semi-organize this. <laughs> I don't think this can fit in here. Well, maybe. Just everything's gonna have to be a little out of whack. Yeah, there we go. And we have eight emeralds to spare, plus nine blocks. Let's just turn all this into what we can. I think there's some ores in here. No, I already cleared that out. That was fast. Got some stuff smelting in here. Alright, so we can make one block of gold, one block of iron. That's about it. And sort this all accordingly. I'll put that in there for now. And that's pretty much it. So we got one totem from that flight, and uh, two notch apples and a couple other things, so in the end I'd say it was a success, uh, got what I wanted, and I honestly don't know if I even want to hold on to the totem. I want to, kind of want to display it, because uh, yeah, if I die and lose it, then <laughs> I'm not going to get another one. So I think we're going to display it instead, uh, and we'll use it in emergencies. So we're going to get a item frame, I think we're going to put it in here, just right above the door. Boom. Just a nice little, nice little addition to the place. And I think that's going to wrap it up for this episode. My freaking pop filter keeps loosening, so if there was any wind noise, I'm sorry. Um, I need to tape it onto my mic, apparently. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe if you did. Uh, any comments, suggestions, ideas, whatever, I'll take them. Just leave them in the comments below. In the description, there's a link to my Discord server that you're welcome to join. And check out my second channel, Waffles Instrumentals. I'm bringing it back after a little bit of a hiatus. So if you want to go support what I do on that channel, feel free. And, uh... I just upload instrumentals on there, and I'm getting really tired of the slimes coming in here and trampling my crops. If you guys have a solution for that, I know the minimap shows slime chunks. Yeah, this right here is a slime chunk. I should have uh, should have built it on the other side, because if I built the tree farm here, then they wouldn't have been able to spawn. So that's uh, that's a little annoying. Getting tired of having to fix it. Yeah, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!